Virginia is launching a program to help schools and daycare centers detect dangerous levels of lead in drinking water. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out why it matters, and she's live in the digital center with the tale. Jackie. Hey, Eric. Well, it matters because I'm told lead exposure can negatively impact brain development, especially for younger children. But despite that concern, it's still unclear how many schools and daycares have responded to a years old testing requirement in Virginia. Today, a new program to prevent dangerous lead exposure in kids. Virginia getting more than $1 million to review 40,000 drinking water samples at schools and daycare centers. Dr. Tony saying what the state's Office of Drinking Water says funding has been a barrier in the past. We knew that uh, these problems exist earlier also, but again, uh, because of lack of funding, we weren't, we weren't able to do it. And uh, I think the schools and child care centers, they were in the same boat. Thing is encouraging schools to sign up for the program this summer with free testing expected to start this fall. But it's still unclear if the new pot of funding will finish the job. We do not have uh, an accurate number of samples at all these schools. Thing says schools will be prioritized at their high poverty and serve students six years and younger. Plus, if they were built before 1986, when lead plumbing was more common. The voluntary program comes years after Virginia lawmakers mandated lead testing in schools and daycare centers, according to State Senator Jeremy McPike. The test today, we've shown thousands and thousands across our schools and daycare systems that have had positive lead results. And that's a problem. And that problem may still be lurking in some places. Lawmakers did not set standards for retesting or a specific deadline for completing the mandate. We need to start to see real data and real results to understand the order of magnitude. And Dr. Singh says he's heard from schools that say they're in the process of starting their own lead testing, but he couldn't tell me what percentage have responded to the mandate so far. This even though lawmakers required reporting to the Virginia Department of Health and parents back in 2020. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.